Hey guys, uh, so response to my Warhammer story because I figured I'd tell mine while I'm sitting here painting some uh, knob bikers. So where to begin? Where to begin? Well, to begin, we're going to talk about the Gateway Drug Magic: The Gathering. That's what I was doing in the 90s. Um, fortunately, I didn't quite get in at the original sets, uh, but I did get in around Legends. So the the big stuff was still relatively cheap, easy to get. It hadn't all been all shipped off to Japan, uh, and uh, so I was stopped. Hey guys, uh, this is a response to my Warhammer story. While I'm sitting here painting some non bikers up, uh, my story begins in the '90s with the Gateway Drug Magic: The Gathering. I was uh, pretty much uh, really into magic in the 90s and I was actually getting pretty good at it uh, but then they changed everything with their, where they went to that standard type 2 stuff and with releasing so many cards all the time I really didn't have the money to keep up with it anymore so I was getting into uh, MMOs a lot specifically Ultima Online and then when EverQuest came out I got into EverQuest but uh, what really drove me out of magic was having two power sets stolen from me and I just didn't have the money to replace the second set anymore so uh, but I still hung up my local shop I still played with what I had I still uh, uh, went up there and played a request and stuff hung out with the guys and then one day uh, the shop brought in the GW products uh, and some people to demo the games and it looked really, really interesting. It seemed like a, a great little uh, sci-fi game, battle strategy game. And I really got into it. And I went with Oryx right away because I didn't like getting tied down to a specific look or a specific way to build the models. And, and that's just the way I, I feel about it today. Whereas I don't like being tied down how someone else thinks the way the model should look. And so that's how I got into orcs. My first orc, my first 40k model was a metal orc war boss. And I painted that up. I had gotten hands on one of the giant uh, GW paint kits, paint and model stuff and flock and all the fun stuff needed. So that was kind of spoiled right away because. We did some display stuff for the shop with that, and we were able to keep it for our own, use it also for our own personal stuff. So from the shop owner, so that was a good deal there. And after the war boss, I got a battle force. And I was really starting to get into the game, get into painting. In fact, at those time, and this was you know in the late 90s, so it was third edition. We got the Battle for McCrag set, I think is what it was, and the big rule bug. I think my cousin still has the speeder from that set, too, for that matter. Anyway, uh, so that was, that was in the late 90s, and really EverQuest kind of killed my interest in, in doing getting out of the house, because I didn't have the money to go and keep buying the two or three sets of magic every came out every year to keep up in standard type two. And despite, you know, forty K is pretty expensive, but when you get right down to it, there's a point in forty K where you can stop spending money. Uh, you can build an army and you can just stop. You don't have to get any more after that. And it's not true about magic. So forty K is quite a bit cheaper over in the long run than trying to play type two magic. So anyway, um didn't have the money for that, didn't have the money for much, so you know, every once in a while I was playing EverQuest, painting, actually painting while playing EverQuest, playing EverQuest. And those super long fear camps. Spent 48 straight hours in fear and painting Warhammer models. That was a fun weekend. So anyway, um, then it just got to the point where I just couldn't have, I couldn't get out of the. Actually, the point, the real tipping point was when my son was born. 
And that really kept me from being able to leave the house, really. Because, uh, at least for very long. So I really couldn't play Magic anymore. I couldn't play Warhammer anymore. So pretty much around middle 2001, or yeah, middle 2001, I uh, stopped doing everything except taking care of my kids and playing EverQuest. Well, so we skip forward to, say, 2006, 2007. My daughter's old enough where, you know, it's easy for one person to take care of both kids. And so I started going out every once in a while to a local gaming store to play sealed, uh, Draft Magic. That was a lot of fun. I got some cards, had some fun. I started really getting back into the game. Uh, but even that started to wane. It was money came and gone. I tried to build a Type 2 deck, then by the time I got it built, you know, Type 2 had already gone past what I had built. That was kind of depressing. But, uh... So... One, day I went, one night I went in there to play, a Saturday night to play their draft, and had on their calendar that somebody was starting up a 40k league. And I was like, hey, that sounds like fun. I got 40k stuff. I still got a box of orcs in the closet. Unfortunately, I had sold off some of my stuff, but I could never quite get around to selling off the entire army, which turned out to be a good thing. So here comes this 40k league, and I walked in this Wednesday night with my box of orcs that I literally pulled out of the closet and dusted off just a few days before with a 750 point list and I started playing and I was oh yeah, and they also told me that the, there was a new codex coming out any day now so that was really exciting and uh Yeah, so it was just before the Codex came out when I got back into the game. And I was just literally hooked. Instantly. It's really a great game. I have a lot of fun with it. So anyway, tax free summon season, I bought a bunch of orc stuff, bought a bunch of stuff, started painting, really getting back into the game. I don't care, I have air conditioning on me. Thank you. Um, so, and of course when I started picking up 40k, I started getting, you know, I have another YouTube channel which is non-40k related, uh, and I started watching 40k stuff, and then I decided, instead of, you know, clouding my favorites or my subscriptions with two different kinds of stuff, I just make a separate channel, one for 40k and one for other stuff, or for the politics and philosophy, and that worked out really well, but anyway... Uh, so my first couple of videos were, I put up a video or two, and went to the second round of Art Boys that year, 2008. And so I didn't really do much with the channel at first, because uh, I really didn't have much to do. I was just painting orcs, and that wasn't very exciting. So anyway. In January 2009, I'd been back in the game for a year. I had a few videos up, and I started on the second army. And that's when I got my Tau army. And that's when I really started. Oh, and I spent a bunch more money on orcs, too, thanks to my tax refund. That's, January is my, my, my spending spree time, because that's my tax refund time. And so I... Uh, bought a Tau army, which was an amazing deal. And I started painting that. And you watch, you know, all of it. I haven't taken any videos down. So everything I had up, everything I did is still up. You can see the progress of the Tower Army, which took me five months to paint in and among some work, work projects, including the Battle Wagon, my Squig Off, and stuff. And that's when I started really getting some subscribers, and I was really getting into the whole YouTube thing. And then I started watching the talking about uh, Necrons and talking about uh, Tyranids that Auxilian was doing. And that's when I decided to do an orc series, because I thought I was, you know, a pretty decent orc player. And so I really started uh, planning on that. Of course, I didn't do it, get it done anytime soon, because I had to get ready for OFCC 2009, which is what I was doing all... getting my orcs done, building a list, getting everything ready to go. 
And so once that was over, I really started getting into Moon Blood Angels, really started getting into YouTube. And that's when I started talking about Orc Series, and that was a big hit. And I still got more to do. I mean, don't think that's over. If you're you subscribed here for talking about Orcs, trust me, there's more up in my head. They're not videos yet, but they're in my head. Uh, wow, this is getting long. And so that's where my YouTube channel's at. I still, I've been working on my Blood Angels primarily and specifically for my OFCC tournament, which is this weekend, just a few days away. And... Done with that part. So that's what the Blood Angels are for. And then once I've gotten done with that, uh, you'll probably see a lot more talking about orcs coming up. I've got a lot of ideas, um, but unfortunately I haven't been able to do them because I've been too busy with painting Blood Angels. And I gotta get these bun hop bikers done too. I really want to play with three knob bikers and the war boss. See what happens. So, yeah. And so that's where we're at pretty much at this t point in time. Uh, that was my ramble. Uh, not very exciting, but uh, that's how I got to where I'm at with both uh, 40k and YouTube. These bikers are really cool. These are some really cool models. And so that's it for this video. Uh, tomorrow night I'm playing in my league again. I'm playing my same list I played last week. I'm really, really hoping to play Tyranids because I've not yet played Tyranids with my orcs. I've been too busy with Blood Angels, and I really haven't done much with the Orcs, fortunately. But uh, don't worry, the Orcs are coming back full force, starting in just a couple weeks. Because after OFCC is over, I'm going to be slowing down a lot. i got to get these guys at least to their three-color minimum for the painting challenge on the 40k forums. But once that's done, it's time to slow down a little bit. But not too much, because i still got a lot to do, as I said before. But talking about Orcs is coming back uh, soon, very soon, as are these not bikers and oh more airbrush stuff too uh, that's, I got my Messerschmitt built so I'll be doing some more airbrush videos here in the near future I think I rambled long enough and so that's it I'll talk to you later YouTube see ya soon